Hi, my name is Peter Nolette. I'm the product manager for Sidepower Thrusters, and today we're going to show you how to remove your anode and remove your prop. We use our 3040 size thruster, and it's a 125 mil tunnel, and this is our gear leg. On this particular model, your anode is on the opposite side of your prop. So we'll start with our four millimeter Allen key. We're going to put that on there, and we're going to remove our retaining screw. And that's it. So you're going to replace it with the same. When you're replacing this, obviously once a year you want to replace your anode. It's usually going to be eroded away. Um, so right back on, you'll see there's a little boss on the end of that gear leg. Hard to see that direction, maybe this direction. You'll see there's a little boss here that accepts the screw on this particular model. Okay, and it's putting your anode back on. And a screw, now this can be done by a diver under the water, a little more of a challenge. It's usually done before the boats are launched each year. Okay, and tighten that back up. And to remove our prop, on this particular model, we've got a 13 millimeter lock nut. Okay, so we're using a ratchet, extent socket, extension. So you just need to hold the prop stationary while you remove that. Once it's loose, you should be able to back it up. Now in this particular model, you also have a, there's a prop washer on the face of the prop. And on this model, it's a spline shaft and a spline drive. So you can see the shaft is, is splined, okay? And the prop is splined to accept that. So when you replace the prop, you know, it's back on, lining up your splines, back on all the way, prop washer, lock nut, and then we're gonna tighten that back up, holding your prop while you do so. Oops. It's just snug. Good. Simple as that.